Hey, this is Rafe, and uh, I'm joined by my fellow co-commentators, Jedi and Raven, and we're back for some uh, more Castlevania goodness. Right away, we're greeted by one of my favorite things in the game. Actually, this game in general has really good music for the time. I thought you were mentioning that to the flea men. <laughs> hey, at least they don't throw knives. Oh, that is true. Also, did you say Je Jedi Raven like we were a combined being or something? Yeah, yeah, close enough. <laughs> it's the new Star Wars AU. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. But yeah, speaking of the flea men, they're like some of the more annoying enemies in this uh, game, but they don't really get annoying until later on. Um, some enemies that do get annoying right now are the crows that you're seeing me fight. Oh. Just, like, they have, like, random AI, and it's really hard to predict what they're gonna do next. Um, is that staircase just hanging there in midair? Um, I think the explanation is that it's, like, a deck- Oh, there's another secret, by the way, but... The explanation is that it's a decrepit castle, so it's, like, sort of shambling into ruins, so there was, like, once, uh, building or something there, but now it's just destroyed. This game has more? Yeah, I know, man. It's the, the or, or did you make that shit up? Yeah, it actually has a defined timeline and everything. Oh, but did you make that shit up about the about the staircase? Sounds like you made it up. <laughs> also, you dodged those Medusa heads perfectly. <laughs> you dodged that skeleton guy. He always catches me when I'm trying to go up that staircase. You just yeah, walk through those Medusa right heads. And then press down. It was pretty easy. Just I like taking the just stopwatch. Like, I like the stopwatch, how you're just like, nope, bye. <laughs> And I'm trying to like show off where all of the subpar items are, so you don't like replace your holy water with them if uh, anyone decides to play Castlevania 1 after this, like, raid. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna it. memorize where everything is when I'm playing this. Yeah, yeah, I think you can do it. Remember to memorize all the secrets, too. Every There's single. one coming up that you'll need to memorize as well. Thanks for the spoiler alert. <laughs> pretty amazing. Those dragon heads are tanks, holy crap. Yeah. No, what were you saying? No, I was just saying, yeah, they take a lot more hits here than they do in later games. Yeah, yeah they, in later games... The fireballs are, like, surprisingly unpredictable, so they can get you if you're not, like, whipping them, since they move faster than the holy water. Why did you block thing. those fireballs? Aren't you invulnerable? <laughs> Uh, I was just too lazy. I was like too used to my pattern, and the invincibility potion doesn't pop up all the time. So. Oh really? So you didn't abuse it? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't used to abusing it. <laughs> Ooh, and uh, this is where the boss comes in. Uh, and before the boss, there's one more secret. Uh, the knife? Wait for it. Wait for it. They'll show up any. Oh, it's not the knife. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Yeah, you, you literally can't get that. It's it's really bizarre. Is that the boss? Yeah. I'm trying to get them using the walls and like. Oh, that's not. Oh, I thought that was the boss. I was like, what the hell? That boss is uh -huh. move. Win mummies. I forgot it was actually two of them because in the Rondo refight, you only find one. They're stripping. <laughs> they're stripping, but they're not losing their clothes. What is this game? <laughs> It was- it was too advanced for the time. Yeah. But, uh, the next stage will come. Did you just get- Did you just get, like, is that called a morning sun? Uh, yeah. Or something? Uh, I just call it red the order. final, uh, whip upgrade for this game. You know, later games they would have more upgrades beyond that, but for now it's just the morning sun, that's it. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the orb, and I was like, wait, that has a name? <laughs> but yeah, I like how Castlevania 1 kind of I like of has how you this, almost like... got that stopwatch. I like how the stopwatch just phased through the floor. Yeah, I predicted that. <laughs> yeah, like how Castlevania You were like one, one pixel off from that stopwatch. How would you have killed the bosses? I would have been horrible. I would, just, I would have just quit right there. Stopwatch is one of my previous things I did play. Like when I got the stopwatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this placement of enemies. They die there. Yeah, it's like. It looks like it's so like really hard to avoid damage in these parts because they're like some places where it's just like straight up unfair. Yeah, like, like, a few parts. Like that point where the enemies just for some reason phase up on things that they shouldn't be able to and fall on you. Yeah. 
But yeah, I like how uh, Castlevania One has like this sense of continuity because, uh, like you, like all the stages are connected, kind of like uh, Sonic Three. Yeah, that. yeah, that it's very like Sonic Three, and I've always adored that kind of thing. Freedom Planet kind of does that too. Oh, no, I haven't part. played that game. You need to. You know what other game does that? Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, I never heard of that. Maybe we can talk about it later. <laughs> this game looks like it was influenced by it, especially the Richter part. Yeah, maybe. But uh, this part is pretty rough, but at least for the Bone Dragon, you can just walk oh. underneath it. Wow! Oh, I, hate, okay. I hate the Bone Dragons. Do you even get so any much. points from killing enemies in this game? Uh, yeah, you do. Oh, you do. So you missed your chance to get points. <laughs> I did. It's not a it's a bone you gotta restart. You also drop a bunch of items, so I uh, missed the chance to get a bunch of 100 gold bags too. They, they even do that in the Metroidvanias. They drop a lot of money. I like yeah. how in video games everyone has this super good metabolism. They're like, <laughs> you like eat like a baked chicken. You fight in the wall. You find in the wall. So first of all, you find this baked chicken in the wall and you eat it. <laughs> um. So there's already like health issues there and sanitary issues. But second of all, like sanitary issues don't matter. I guess, but like at the same time, like his metabolism isn't that fast. Oh, look at this thing! He looks like a cop. This boss fight is like the worst because oh, it's Frankenstein's there's no way to monster. like stunlock Igor, so you can only stunlock Frankenstein. And he bounces. They got off. pretty lucky there. It's Frankenstein's oh, yeah, monster. Yeah, that's probably like the best I've ever done on that fight. But yeah, Jeez. like the blown dragons and Frankenstein makes this like one of the hardest stages in the game. Frankenstein's monster. Yes, Frankenstein's monster. Oh, so is that yeah. a flea man that like came off his head? Yes. That's Igor. But yeah, I usually call it Frankenstein's monster, but like it's always easy to forget when you're just talking about it because it's like so inconvenient to say the monster part. Yeah. Oh, look, it's the world map of Transylvania. <laughs> yeah. And that's the end of uh, Castlevania Part 2. Uh, join us next time for the grand finale where I beat Dracula in uh, a really expected manner. Dracula's in this game? <laughs>